Dakota men's hockey is back from the bye week to host Denver at the Ralph Ingolstadt Arena this weekend. UND ranked top three through their break, and with just four weeks remaining in the regular season, they're looking to build a momentum that will take them the distance. That all starts on the ice with Denver tonight. This one's scoreless in the second period. Pioneers on the power play. Defenseman Joey Lelegio Le has time to line up the shot. No problem. It's 1-0 Denver. Pioneers keep the pressure on, but Zane McIntyre is there for a big-time save. The Thief River Falls product, big for UND this season, and that big stop creates a tying opportunity as one of UND's top scorers takes a look. Drake Kajula beats the glove, and it's tied at one after two at the Ralph. This one far from over, but in the end, it's North Dakota on top 4-2 as they pick up where they left off with their winning ways. And the women get the 4-0 shutout at St. Cloud State tonight. In Big Ten action, Minnesota hosting Michigan, riding a four-game win streak. They get on the board early on the power play as Kyle Rau nets his 150th career goal on the feed from Taylor Camerata. Later first period, they add a couple for insurance. Under a minute after goal number two, it's Vinny Latiri with the finish from Cam Camerata's shot off the post. Gophers lead 5-1 after two periods. It's currently 6-1 in the third. Well, the MSUM men are back in action after taking just their second loss of the season last weekend at Augustana. The Dragons are looking to rebound with a sweep in their final regular season home games this weekend. First on the docket, Minnesota Duluth, the only other team to have beaten the Dragons this season. The Dragons out to an early lead in front of a packed house at Nemzik Hall. Lead is at six with a three from Jordan Reaver from right in front of that Duluth bench. He adds his 200 and sixth career three for the all-time school record shortly thereafter. He will lead the team with 18 points in this one. He's not the only one popping threes tonight, though. Davies product Tanner Kretschmann works for a space and drops the tray to put the Dragons up by eight. They lead by 20 at the halfway point. It serves them well as they avenge their early season loss with the 89-67 win. And the women join them in the winner's circle with the 68-59 win led by Holly's Drew Sands with a career-high 20 points. To the Fargo Civic Center hosting Class B District 2 action. Maple Valley being led by NDS Met Riley Newdell. Newdell gets things started with a steal and pushes the ball on the break to get the layup to go. The Raiders up by 13. It's Maple Valley on the break again. Megan Kosowski finds Newdell for the transition three. The Raiders start the game on a 16-0 run. Northern Cass stops the bleeding as Victoria Hoggarth finds Carissa McCarty for the layup. The first quarter coming to a close. Kosowski gets the rebound and layup to put the Raiders up by 18. Maple Valley takes care of business tonight in this one. Win it 59-21. Enderlin taking on Central Cass in Class B District 2 action as well. First quarter, Enderlin extending their lead. Sarah Redding pushes the ball up the court and gets the layup to go. Eagles. Up by four at this point. Central Cast responds big. Emily Kramer gets ahead of everyone for the fast break layup. That caps off an 11 0 run by the Squirrels. Into the second quarter, Jacqueline McCleary drives to the basket and gets the tough shot to go. The Eagles trail by five. Enderlin ties it up before half, but Elizabeth Johnson finds Kendra Carl. She hits the jumper to put the squirrels back on top. Central Cast wins it 44 32. And earlier today, Oak Grove topped Richland to take on top seeded Kindred on Saturday. Well, Grand Forks Central holds a slim two point advantage on Red River in the EDC standings. So, with their final regular season hockey game tonight against Fargo South Shanley, the Knights need a win to ensure the Rough Riders don't steal first with one last game on the schedule Saturday. Out to the Coliseum in North Fargo. Scoreless in the first as Central peppers the cage early. And when you take shots, good things happen. Even a pop from the behind the blue line like this. Cam Olstad with the flip and good bounce. And just like that, Central's on the board. He follows it up with a fancier touch shortly thereafter. Finishes high near post as he skates in with speed. Olstad with his second and a two-goal lead for the night. South Shanley with plenty of fight tonight, though. Less than five till intermission. Sean Braun feeds Luke Sandy coming right down the runway. Quick one-touch finish makes it 2-1 at the break. Grand Fork Central wins 5-3 in this one, and they clinch that top seed for the EDC tournament. In girls hockey, Fargo North South is out in Minot, trailing 1-0 in the first period. They tie it up as Kendra Johnson finds Grayson Myers. She lights the lamp up with the equalizer. A thriller in Minot as this one heads to overtime. Tied at two, but Minot finishes things off with a 3-2 win. You pulled in highlights from everywhere tonight. Everywhere, and tomorrow we'll have more of the same. Plenty more district action, lots more hockey, and lots more college basketball. Thanks, Beth.